Hi, scrapbookers and creative friends. I'm Linda Batuk, um, a Creative Memories Independent Advisor in Jupiter, Florida. And today I want to share with you just a little flip through of a little album I made. Um, I was getting ready for a conference and I had three albums that I wanted to complete. I wanted a sample of, an, of a little eight by eight. Um, I made another calendar album you may have seen in a previous video. Um, and then I was updating another album. So um, I wanted to share this one because I thought this is a really nice idea um, for you to do for your family for posterity. So I chose chocolate brown because chocolate is probably my favorite food, and this is a foodie album. So I decided to dedicate it to my family and friends who inspired me to play with our food. Um, what I did was I just have photographs. You'll see that it's mostly seasonal because that's kind of how I do this. I make this food for um, for my uh, creative memories crops, for my family, for for gathering with friends. I just really enjoy it so much because food really is my love language and I hope you enjoy it. I used, uh, we have a, a new collection that is advisor only, um, but it is uh, baked with love. So I use that for some of the pages, but a lot of the pages are just seasonal. So uh, here I made this very generic. This is from one of the embellishments um, uh, for them, for you to use just as a, for me to use as a title page. So you'll see as we go through, I will flip through. I won't take too long. Um, and so, of, of course, this was my winter, starting in January. Uh, different treats and some sweet, some are savory, but I have a, a mixture. Here's February. I really do love playing with food. And, you know, friends and family appreciate it so much. And it's kind of like a trademark for me. It's something that I want our family and friends to remember when I'm no longer around, that this is something I love to do for them. So that's another reason that I wanted to make this. In addition, um, you know, this would be a good space for you to put some family recipes that you want to have on there. Use one of our, you can use the um, Creative Memories photo mats uh, of any design that you wish. And that way, or even just cut paper, cut paper, because you want to make sure that it's archival, Creative Memories quality, so nothing uh, harms your photographs. So I don't post, I don't put my pictures all over Facebook. I know people make fun of that all the time. I don't do that, but truly I do it as a record uh, for our family. Some, some things were more successful than others, but it's all part of our life and what we do. I had a lot of spring. And I mixed, I mixed the uh, side loading pockets uh, with the, uh, uh, with the regular pages, just so that that way I could use a piece of paper that I like both sides and it just gave me more options. Spring, yeah, I'm a little bit bee crazy. If you can see my fingernails, maybe like this is better. I just love bees. You know, bees, if it wasn't for bees, we wouldn't have, our food chain would break down. Every third bite of food we eat is thanks to a bee. So I, you just can't thank them enough. This was from National Scrapbook Day last year. Uh, it was a bee theme, but May 20th is World Bee Day. So my scrapbookers will be seeing this on May 20th, our next crop into summer. Pickle watermelon rind is one of our sons, uh, Eric's favorite. When he was in the Navy, I made uh, watermelon pickles, to, watermelon rind pickles to send him on the ship. Okay, 4th of July. I do love to make uh, Rice Krispie sculptures. I have enough Rice Krispie sculptures, I think, to make a book about this little album about them too, which I will do at a later date. More spring things. I like this flamingo cookie cutter that was like a float pineapple upside down cake. Sometimes my um, inspiration uh, just comes from Pinterest. Like look at these dolphins, a banana, and you cut that, put a little grape in there, and they're in the sea of blueberries and blackberries. It's a wonderful summer thing to do. And the fruit sea. It's, I'm center in Florida. Home is where the heart is. And there it is. I do love flamingos too. I'm from Miami, Florida originally, so Flamingos are really my one of my trademarks. <clears throat> okay, a uh, little more summer things. Here's a little savory with salad. We I grew nasturtiums. The olives are not from our garden, but the arugula and the lettuce and the nasturtiums are. Okay, a little bit more flowers. Flower power. Ooh, Halloween. Now I like the silly Halloween. I'm not a I'm not a scary Halloween kind of person, so I make spooky food, but. Some of it's a little strange, but it's just for fun. 
This is feet loaf that looked better before it was cooked than after. It looked kind of gross. I mean, it looks kind of gross now, but it was even more gross when it was um, baked. Little mummy dogs. This brie I wrapped in um, in pastry, but it didn't look, we forgot, I forgot to take a picture of it after I baked it. So I have the pre-bake photograph. Cupcakes in a Haunted House. Ding Dong, The Witch's Dead. I saw this on Pinterest. I don't eat Ding Dongs, but I had to make this treat. Make a little witch's hat. And there she is going out. If you, if you are familiar with uh, the Wizard of Oz, yeah. Off she went. So my cookies. I have fun. These Oreos, little Oreo bats. Cheddar Witch's Finger. They, they are gross looking, but really delicious. Salty cheddar and yummy. Oreo eyeballs. Okay, so Day of the Dead, I had um, I decided I wanted to make these skeleton cookies, but I didn't get the frosting right, and it was killing me to squeeze it out. So that became my life's work. The veggie tray was a lot easier, and the marshmallows. That was, and my husband made some of those with me, too. Turkey time. I'm obsessed with turkeys, too. Turkey, I think I'm just obsessed with a lot of food things. I made some rugula. My first rugula for um, let's go to take to a Hanukkah dinner with good friends. It was yummy, a little bit spicy. It was yummy. Uh, yeah, this, you can see this is a savory hummus. These cranberry cream cheese cilantro spirals. Mmm, they were good. And Santa hats. So this is made of gingerbread. You'll see a lot of gingerbread because it is not Christmas if it, we don't have gingerbread. Now, what I did with my Christmas recipes, um, there are about five or six recipes that we have to have. Um, I'm talking about goodies, not like healthy food. Uh, five or six cookie recipes that we, or candies that we have to have, or it doesn't feel like Christmas. So in um, my Christmas, one of my Christmas albums, I made sure to put those recipes there. But if you're making a book like this, this would be a wonderful spot for you to add uh, your recipes that are family favorites. Yeah, gingerbread. I do love gingerbread. We used to make gingerbread houses after uh, Thanksgiving dinner, just to kick off the season. Uh, now we've switched to decorating gingerbread cookies because... You, you make that beautiful house and nobody wants to eat it. And then by the time you do go to eat it, it tastes pretty gross. So we make cookies instead. Lots and lots of gingerbread. And here's some of my other treats. You know, I just cut them into four by four by fours or three by threes just to give a little glimpse. I love the holidays. Oh, I love every holiday, really, truly. Raspberry fudge. This was our Christmas morning cherry candy cane truffles. How about these mice? This was a Pinterest um, idea that I saw. Just killer cute with a Hershey kiss and a dipped cherry chocolate. A whole herd of mice. Chocolate sugar cookies. Yeah, this was a, an Oreo um, gingerbread house. We had a virtual meeting um, and we um, built our gingerbread houses together, but I decided to do an Oreo house to be something different. This is um we have a, a bay laurel tree, so when I had to, when I trimmed it, I thought, ooh, I'm gonna make a wreath out of that, and then we shipped one to Portland, and I give that as uh, we can give that as gifts, and some more savory and sweet. This is fruit. Okay, the leaning tree looks like Whoville, right? But it was made of gingerbread. I don't know what went wrong, but it was not pretty. But it's in the book because it happened. And these uh, meringue trees by uh, Kendra Bryan, our our son and daughter-in-law. When they were here, they made these yummy meringue trees. I do have a tree obsession, which you will see uh, shortly. Christmas tree, I have, I put over 50 of them up of different sizes. They're not all big. Um, but then I also make a lot of food shaped like trees. Voila, voila, yeah. This I cheated because these plates are shaped like trees. So it's very easy to make your food look like, the take the shape that you want. So I do cheat a little bit. So these are just variations on a theme. This way we eat our veggies because they're just there and fun to eat. Much more fun when they look pretty. So I put some of my latest cakes in here, layer cakes and bunk cakes and angel food cakes. Um, I do have enough cake, whoops. I do have enough cake photos from when our kids were growing up because all they wanted for their birthday uh, with mom's cocoa cake with buttercream frosting. So I have a lot of those, but I decided to put some of the latest ones in here. This is actually one of our my latest birthday cakes for our son that was in February this year. 
Um, so different layer cakes. Again, I love to try different recipes and play with them. Happiness is homemade. Bundt cake. These are crazy. I don't have one lit, but this these are crazy Lithuanian uh, candles, birthday candles. They're like fireworks. They're amazing. Oh, yeah, I do have a picture Duh, right in front of me. Amazing. My sandcastle in the blueberry sea. And then Bundt cakes. Bunts and angel foods. We do love angel food cake. The puppies didn't get any of that, but they like to be in there. And this one was um, our friend Joey. His birthday is always around Thanksgiving. And he loves my Rice Krispie sculptures. So I made a J for him. O was our bunt cake. And then I added the two letters. So that was his territory right there. And this was uh, two years ago. Our son came home from Lithuania. He's back here now with his beautiful wife, Rasa, who made this delicious pavlova for our Christmas dinner. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's something to think about because it's, it, you can make it short and sweet. I made mine's pretty thick, but you know, it's fine. I decided not to add recipes because it is was already too, was already very thick. So I don't need any thicker than that, but just gives an idea. And here's my food legacy right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would do that. And if you like this video, um, go ahead and um, like it and click that bell so that you'll be notified when I make another video. I will put the links for the 8x8 album uh, in case you think this might be a nice thing for you to do. If you have an advisor, please shop with your advisor. If you do, do not have an advisor, I would love to become your advisor. Thank you again so much for watching.